Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. Um, I was quite happy with the positive feedback I've got for the first behind the scene video, so I decided to make another one. And I had a lot of requests for talking about basically freelancing with Blender and essentially making money with Blender. So yeah, I will try to talk about this a little bit, what helped me um, to build my career um, in the 3D illustration space. So let's get to it. First, I want to say that this is really like a wide topic. Um, there are a lot of things to cover. And when starting a creative business, um, there are a lot of things to consider, like from the business standpoint, administrative standpoint, um, building up your portfolio, reaching out to clients and stuff like that. Um, but I think all those things can be addressed step by step. You don't need to overwhelm yourself um, with all that stuff. But there is one thing that's essential in my opinion in getting into creative business space no matter the goal um, you have in mind whether you want to be a 3d illustrator um, or you want to build assets for the games or sell on the marketplaces um, no matter the goal um, they all have one thing in common you need to get your work out there for people to be able to find you and get to know your work so yeah get your work out there um simple like that um but might be a little bit more difficult for some so i will try to break this down into little steps so first very important thing to do um, is to really do the work you love and you want to do in the future so if you don't have clients right now um, it doesn't really matter you can come up with some kind of personal projects that you would be creating regularly and posting out there um, but do the work you really want to get so if you have some favorite brand or company you would like to create 3d illustrations for um, you can do that basically right now you don't have to wait until they approach you for some kind of project you need to build up for that um, but you can start right now today you can sit down and build something for your favorite brand build some 3d illustration and share it online as a fan art or something um, so you can do that right away and you can really enjoy it since you're doing something you really love um, and that's the main benefit of the personal projects you are not restricted um, you have complete creative freedom which can be scary at times but um, it's a great thing and you don't have any particular client feedback and directions. Um, you would need feedback, of course, but you are not getting this from the client. You are getting this from the community where you're posting your work. Um, try to embrace that feedback um, if it's really um, constructive and if the guys really try to help you with the thing they write to you, try to learn uh, to accept this and to make your skills better um by learning through that feedback so so this way when you create personal projects um when you create 100 200 300 pieces uh, of some artwork or 3d illustration you will build up your style um, that people will like over time um, you will be known for your style and after a while um, these clients and maybe the brand of your dream will reach out to you for the style that you create. So you need to put out the work first and then uh, when you get better over time and achieve some style, they will come to you. So definitely I would recommend starting with personal projects, creating something you really enjoy and yeah, just having fun with it um, and learning along the way. And the second very important thing um, is the ability to do this consistently over time. So We've already established that you need to create something you enjoy, um, but you really need to do this regularly and being consistent with it. Um, it's not enough if you like sit down once in a month or once in two months and create something um, that will not help you very much. Um, you need to do this on a daily or a weekly basis. Um, so you need to put in a lot of work, you need to create a lot of artworks and put them out there, receive a feedback and learn from that. Um, and you really need to do this often uh, to build not only that habits, um, but to be confident um, in the way you use your tools and confident in your style. 
um, over time you will know how many hours uh, something takes you um, and you will be confident that you can deliver something on time. If you're asked for a quote, you will be better able to estimate um, the costs of the thing you will create. So um, yeah, consistency and habits. Um, if you're good at this or if you're already creating something every day or every week, um, that's amazing. You can move on and start creating right away. Um, if you have a little trouble with sitting down and finding the motivation to um, start creating on a regular basis, um, you will need to build some habits. And there's a thing called the Keystone Habit. It's a small thing that you can do every day. Um, to prepare yourself for the chain of the other habits you want to learn. So um, this can be something small, like some kind of ritual, or maybe just firing up Blender for five to 10 minutes to try to tinker and play with the tools you never used before or something like that. So something really small that you will do every day, um, preferably on the same exact time and then starting to work. So this will teach you um, to sit down every day and start creating and getting to that work zone, getting uh, in that flow state. Uh, and that's really important to do, um, to really be able to sit down and create on a demand because that's what creative business is all about, basically. So yeah, consistency and habits and doing the work you love. And for everyone, this can be a little bit different how you can achieve this um, for everyone. Uh, this might be a different goal um, they want to achieve for everyone. This might be a different like a posting schedule. So if you didn't start this yet, um, the next step would be to really try to find um, two or three hours a day. Um, maybe start with one. I don't know. Um, and challenge yourself to create every day. Um, it worked for me. Uh, I basically in the beginning created a calendar for six months. I challenged myself that I will create or post rather um, one artwork every day for six months. I didn't know what will happen after these six months. I just set myself to create every day. I tick the boxes every day that I've posted something. Um, sometimes when I was um, tied on time, I had to repurpose something, um, remix some of the older pieces, um, do another kind of lighting or something like that. Um, it really doesn't have to be like a full two, three hour modeling session every day. Um, but the fact that you will challenge yourself to post every day um, will help you build those habits, build the consistency and achieve a consistent style um, over time and it will get you to a completely amazing new place in the, those six months. So I would really recommend doing something like this. It might be a little bit different for you. Um, you can do a three month challenge or one month challenge, um, whatever you have. Um, six months really worked for me because after six months I was really committed and the best of all, it really showed already some results. So after six months, I was already receiving some inquiries for the work. I was already recognized um, for some kind of style that I was putting out there. So yeah, this really worked for me. Um, I really recommend go challenge yourself, sit down every day and create. It's the best way. Um, it's the best thing you can do for you and your career. Um, if you want to get better at something and start earning money, um, whether it's Blender or something else. So these are the few tips for me on starting a creative career. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please let me know in the comments or if there's something you would like to hear me talk about in the future, let me know in the comments too. If you're new to the channel and you like to see content like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you get notified when I release something new. Um, thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.